So, welcome back to another episode. Let's get over here a little bit out of the wind, but I um, have made a little bit of progress on the new Avery for this loft when we do upgrade it very soon, hopefully start um, moving this next week. But we're getting there. It's looking pretty good, got all the grading in. I've only got that sitting in there at the moment. Um, and then once we move it, we'll probably fix it in place a little bit better. Um, calm down, mate. Put in some angles. So we're gonna have some polycarbonated sheeting that go across here. And also put in the door. So this is like a meter wide door. I'm trying to try and put a sliding door on there too. It's gonna be a little bit bigger than the other one we had on the other side. Um, the whole Avery is just one section. I'm not gonna put in two sections. But you will see this pole in the middle. That is a divider between two sections inside the loft. Um, not getting too carried away with it this time, just because this is more of just to get by. But this one, we can have two sliding doors either side, and basically those sliding doors will go right up to the top. So we'll go around here a bit better, actually. I'll probably have um, covered in sides as well and just wire on the front and we'll probably have the entry here somewhere so like a drop down platform landing board and then they'll come in through the Sputnik board. <laughs> you are really annoying. <laughs> he gets a bit excited but yeah we've got a little bit of a trap coming there so the birds can trap into this section um, and depending on what door is open they can come back into the loft area here and we'll have another sliding door here so four sliding doors maybe five on this one so we'll have two sections i'll be standing one another one here perches all around um, and then two sliding doors on this side and then one here so we can have it all open or we can shut it but for now what we'll do we'll probably have all the older birds in this side and then all the young birds we'll put in that side and then we'll just halfway through the day we'll just swap them around so that they can have this outside section um, and then once they get a bit bigger we can just open all the areas up fly them all together because it is safety in numbers here oh you're annoying i tell you and once they get a little bit older into the season we can separate them to cocks and hens so this will make do get us through what we need to anyway but it's looking pretty good still got a bit more framing and things to do but i kind of just got it together got the paint on it before the rain because i don't want it to get wet and i don't want it to um start warping and things like that just timber so got the main frame up and then we'll go through when we move it over there we can start putting everything else on it because we'll um sort that loft out and then we'll move this up to the front of it and then screw it on and then we'll finish the rest of it because it'll be lighter and easier to move around so it's looking pretty good i'm pretty happy with it first time sort of starting to do angles and things like that too and i think that turned out pretty well and i think that um polycarbonated front and probably sides as well is going to save us a lot with the weather and water and stuff like that trying to get with that coming into the loft so pretty excited to see how it turns out but uh, so far it's looking pretty good I'm, I'm keen to get it on there and see how it looks i think it's going to look pretty good and we'll head into here got a little bit of an update um, a few bits and pieces probably not too much on these two little guys he's falling out of there come back here yeah, he's running away from me but um you know that's still there it's just a lot harder to film in there now with the front on there but um that's fine you got a little bit of twig there she's always building nests this one so hopefully these eggs will hatch in the next few days i haven't actually seen i haven't candled them and i haven't seen any cracking yet so we'll just wait and see very aggressive this cock bird put you back in there And we'll just see what's going on here because this has probably got the most changes. So a few changes in here. We've got all these nest boxes in there, what you've seen before, the shelf type. And I've just sat four nest bowls in there. I don't have enough pairs for all them, but I just want to see where uh, Leo and Storm probably want to go. And there is two more blue bar hens in here. Which, uh, that one there. Actually both them ones. They are both um, out of the flying loft. One is Titan's daughter and one is Leo's daughter. I'm hoping to pair one of these hens up to one of these cocks. 
It's quite nice this one. This one's Titan's daughter. She's actually she's nice. And then I'm gonna try and pair up to one of the Vanderbocks, which is this one. And then we've got the other one up here as well. I'll tell you what, that rooster is just following me around, been a pain. Right, so let's get in here and have a bit of a look now that I've uh, shooed that rooster off. It's been a tad annoying. We'll have a little bit of a look what's going on in here. And watch out for some of these birds. They're uh, only new in here, so they're a little bit flighty. Still got to figure out how this whole thing works. Leo, that's not your box to get out there. Um, so what I've done is I've taken the red hen out of here. She's over in the flying moth. She'll be disappearing soon, going um, probably with those tiger grizzles. This little baby here is almost ready to wean anyway. And we'll probably pair, tighten up with another blue bar hen that I've got. This one is um, pretty ready to, come here, to wean. He should be pretty feathered up under the wing. He's a bit of a feisty one like his dad. You can see he's nearly feathered up under the wing there, so he should be ready to go. It looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that one. Um, I got now that that red hen has gone out of there, because she was paired up with Shock. I can actually open Shock's cage up now and just let him come out and pick all through the seeds and stuff like. It's better for him than being stuck in this little cage all the time. But you know, some birds just don't go together too well, and that's probably zoomed in a little bit too far. These actually turned out quite nice. We've got um, this very dark checker here. It's like really dark. These are Titans, I mean, sorry, Shocks babies with one of Leon Storm's hens. And I'd say this little one here might be the hen. This is a little checker, not as dark. Um, pied one. It's got a bit of white flight on there, a little bit of white behind the eye there. And um, a fair bit of white on the back side there. So all the other hens have come out like that with all the pied white, white flight type ones. But um, interesting to see how this one turns out because I feel like this one's going to be pretty dark and you can see I don't think I've bred one this dark before actually you can see how dark this little guy is so it's going to be pretty interesting going to be nice little change in the loft have something so dark so it's good they're very beautiful though this little one so I'm pretty excited to see how shock and this hen go I think it's going to be a fantastic pair for um this season so they'll go through for probably another two more rounds after this possibly a fourth but i don't think i'll need so many babies let's have a look at these babies i really like this little hen this one are leon storms babies uh, and i've produced some quite nice babies in here paired up with the hoop and cock um so i have been thinking about separating these ones but i um, think they might go for another round because they are pretty close to laying eggs again I'd say she not too far away because these little chicks are almost ready to wean almost ready uh, pretty close feathers are only up they should be done but they don't, they don't need to go anywhere for now I actually like this one here too this checkered one come here he's a pretty big big one he might be the cockbird out of the bunch so I'm, pretty, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to let them go again because the babies are quite nice. And we'll look at these messy tiger grizzles. Uh, this little guy, let's bring him out actually. Easier. It's harder to see. Um, he's de I'd definitely say he's a tiger grizzle. He's definitely got black on him and not blue. But um, probably a very white one. So we'll see how he goes. But those tigers will be out of here shortly anyway. Hopefully that's enough just to start our little tiger as a project. If not, then we're going to have to get a bit more creative and maybe buy our own adult ones. But pretty much that's all that's going on at the moment. I'm trying to um, get Leon Storm into one of these sections here. I just tried to set them up in there, but they're going everywhere. So hopefully, you know, 24, 48 hours, I pick one of these boxes and I'll start settling down a little bit. And then we can try and get um, two of those, or either the red checker or the merely cock in here with the other two blue bar hens that we've got. Let's hope they sort of settle down. And then once all that sort of settled down, hopefully 
um, Titan is ready to pair up to another hen that I've got lined up for him. I've got a few of these nice little things, like these ones up here, that I'm hoping that we can probably utilize them for breeding. But they go to wild hen blocks. So we'll just see how we go. I'm very, very keen actually to breed from these ones. I need to lock Titan back up actually because he's been a real pain. Watch out. Until everyone's sort of settled in their nest boxes, um, I'll just lock him up for another hour or two because he's um, trying to take over every single nest box, fighting everyone. So I'm just going to let everyone sort of settle in and whatnot because he's. Uh, I didn't expect that from him. He's trying to be the boss of everything. He's been very greedy. Anyway, I'm going to catch you all in the next video. Just a little update. Um, trying to get all the pairs paired up. And then hopefully soon we might get some eggs in the next couple of weeks. Try and fill all these boxes with eggs. Um, then we should be right. A, a couple, maybe one to two rounds again from all of these. Because I'm going to find another pair from here. Then we should be pretty full in the other loft. We've got about, I was counting before, we've probably got about 20, 25-ish birds that we'll have for older birds to fly next year. So we don't really need to breed a lot more, maybe 30, 35. So we should be able to do that in, um, say about two rounds, because we've still got the two nest boxes out here, and we've got a few of these babies up here that will go in there as well. But Big Leo's pretty keen, so he'll probably go down for three rounds. Generally, let him do three rounds. He looks pretty healthy and happy, and their babies are pretty, pretty good, so um, happy to get them moving. Uh, we'll see how we go. We'll put um, Leon Storm Baby in here. We've got a Leon Storm Baby in here. Leon Storm Baby up here. Um, another Leon Storm Baby down here. Storm and Leo there. And then we'll probably have um, Titan, one of Titan's babies in here. And then we've got one box probably left over. But we may even bring the white hen in here with that um, pied cock. I don't know yet, but um, we just got to pump out some babies and get the new loft filled up. So stay tuned, I'm going to go sort this rooster out and lock him away because he's been very noisy and I'll see you all in the next video.